Okay, guys, um, one of the things that I forgot to mention um, during Bible is I need for you guys to complete one page in your um, Bible work text. Um, I know that you're going to need to color, connect the dots, whatever the case may be. I need for you to color a page and submit it to me, okay? But in the meantime, it is time for phonics, okay? And what you're going to need for phonics, you're going to need page 181 and page 182. So it looks like this, okay? You're going to need those two pages. And you're going to need this worksheet, okay? So we're going to do something um, different today, okay? Now, um, what I have scheduled for you guys is we're going to review um, some special sounds and we're going to learn one new one. And these are all the special sounds that you're going to learn for the year, okay? So um, we're going to go over these quite a bit because they're a little difficult. But as long as you remember the special sounds, your one and two vowel rule, you guys will be able to read any words out there, okay? So concentrate. Listen very closely, okay? So we're going to go to special sounds first, then we're going to go over page 181 and 182, and then we'll work on our worksheet, okay? All right, so this is kind of, sort of, a new sound, um, but it's I-N-G, because we've got two um, cards that have the I-N-G. One is a part of the word, and then this ing comes at the end of the word. It's called a suffix. Don't worry about trying to remember the word suffix and what it means. You'll learn about that next year, okay? But I want us to look at both um, sounds, okay? So I've written the, the words that are on the back of this card on the board because it's new to us, okay? So again, ing says ing, okay? Ing says ing. They both make the same sound, okay? They just appear in two different places of a word, okay? This one um, is in the, in the middle of the word or it's a part of the body of the word. This ing that says ing comes at the end of the word like point. This is the word point and we've been talking about this point ing, pointing. This one is ing ing as in King. So it's a part of the word, okay? So I want us to look at this one, okay? I-N-G says ing as in king. Now look at the board for me, okay? And let's start with the special sounds and then let's read the words, okay? I-N-G says ing as in king. So sing, la 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 la, sing, okay? The next word, BR says brr as in bride. The ING says ing as in king. Brr, bring, bring. Very good. The next one, SW says sw as in what? Swim. Good job. You guys remember, ING, our new one, ing as in king. Sw swing. Swing, easy peasy, okay? The next one, I-N-G, says ing, as in king, R ring, ring, okay? The next one, S-T-R says what? Stir, as in stream, good. You guys remember, that's a tough one, okay? I-N-G says ing, as in king, str string, string. String, okay? The last one, T H says th as in thick. Very good. I N G says ing as in king. Th th thing, thing. Okay, so let's read these um, words over again, okay? Just for a little extra practice. All right, ready? Sing, br bring, sw swing, or Ring, str string, thing. Okay, those are easy, right? Yeah. Okay, so continuing on, we have the ing again that says ing. This time our clue word is pointing. Okay, ing says ing as in pointing. These are tough, but you guys, we've read these tons of times. Ready? Hand ing. Handing. Mowing, mowing, look, 
in looking fish in fishing try in trying good wax in waxing okay continue on here's our str str says what stir as in stream stream okay two special sounds str and the ay str stray stray two vowels stroke stroke two vowels str the a says its name strain strain two vowels the i says its name stripes hear the i Str stripes two vowels the e says e street street one vowel the u says a uh, struck struck good we went over these last week over and over again okay spl says good spool as in splash okay the spl says spool the sh says sh as in ship good one vowel split Split, one vowel, split, split, one vowel, splend, did, splendid, that's a huge word, okay? Two vowels, split, spleen, one vowel, splat, splat, good. SPR says spur as in sprain, spur as in sprain. There's the ing. The ing, okay, spr spring, spring. The ay, spr spray. One vowel, spr sprig. One vowel, spr sprint. Two vowels, spr 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 spring. And the y says i, as in fly, spry. Easy peasy. Okay, s c r says what? Skr. You guys, I am so impressed with your ability to remember these special sounds. You guys are gonna blow first grade out of the water. And if you're not, if you're having trouble, it's because you haven't been keeping up with Miss O, you haven't been watching your vows, and you're not sending me that reading video, and that's important, okay? S-C-R says skr as in scream. Scrub, scrub. There's a long E, first one's long. Scree, screen. One vowel, scree, script. Two vowels, scree, screech. One vowel, scra, scrap. Two vowels, it says A, scray, scrape. Good, last one. Now, is the U a vowel? Not in this case because the U always has to help the what? The Q. Very good. So this is squa as in two vowels, squeak, squeak. One vowel, squi, squid. Two vowels, squee, squeal. One vowel, squi, squint. Two vowels, squee, squeeze. Two vowels, squee, squeak. One vowel, squid, squish. Okay, good job. You guys are moving right along and we're going to continue going over these um, for the rest of the week, just the same ones over and over to make sure you learn them really good. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is page 181 and 182. Easy. You guys are gonna breeze through this, okay? So on page 181, these are your instructions, okay? It says, match each picture to the special sound you hear in its name. So first of all, the top line, let's go over the special sounds. And I wanna know, I want to know if you remember the clue words for each special sound, okay? So the first one, the SH says what? Sh, as in ship, good job. The CH says, ch, as in church, good. THR, thr, as in what? Three, good. And the TH, as in what? 
thick. Okay, good. Okay, so um, let's look at the pictures at, um, at the very, very top, and we have the number three. What special sound do you hear at the beginning of th three? Good, the T-H-R. So you would draw a line from the number three to the T-H-R, okay? Looking at the next picture, that's a what? It comes out of the sea from the ocean. It's a sh shell, sh shell, okay? And what do you hear at the beginning of sh shell? The S-H, very good, sh as in ship, good. Um, the next picture is a th thumb. Thumb. What do you hear at the beginning of th thumb? Good job, the TH. And the last picture is a picture of a little ch 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 chick. What do you hear at the beginning of ch chick? Good, the CH. All right. So um, I'm going to go over the last two, um, two rows of special sounds, but you have to match them with the pictures, okay? So the SL says, Fool, as in what? Do you remember the clue word? Sleep. Good. SP says sp, as in spade. Good. Uh oh. Here's one that we just practiced. The SQU says what? Squawk, as in squeak. Good. You guys remember. SW says sw, as in swing. I mean, swim. I'm sorry. Sw, as in swim. Okay. And on the last row, the GL says what? Gull as in glue. Good. BL, bull as in block. Good. PL, pull as in plane. Good. And the FL, full as in flake. Okay, so you guys have to finish the last two rows, okay, on your own. Turn the page. Easy. Number two, it tells us, write the word that completes the sentence. Okay, on this particular exercise, this is what I want you to do. And everyone has to do it. So when you submit your pages to me and I don't see where you circle the special sounds and mark the vowels, I'm gonna give you a sad face. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sad face. Everyone must mark the vowels, circle the special sounds, and box your clue words, okay? So I'm going to do the first one um, with you, okay? So let me erase my board and write the sentence. And then I'll read the instructions and we'll do the first one together. So let's do that together. First one long, second one silent. Box sight words. Okay, even in your choices. Special sound. Okay, and then in order to give you a clue, they've given you a picture to the left of each sentence and that will help you to determine what the correct answer is, okay? So first of all, let's read the sentence, okay? And you guys, this is so easy. Sue had fun on the, let's read it again. Sue had fun on the. Okay, what is that a picture of to the left? It's something we play on at the park. It's a slide, slide. What vowel do you hear in the word slide? You hear the I because it says what? It says its name. So let's choose the word that says slide, okay? We have the SL, sl as in sleep. We have two vowels, first one long, second one silent. So the I is going to say I, slide, good. The next one, there's SL says school as in sleep. Then there's the CK. The CK says what? As in duck. Very good. And the I says it because there's only 
one. So it's going to say it's um, short sound. So the word is slick, slick. Well, what is that picture of? It's a slide. So you're going to circle the word slide and then on the line, you're going to write the word in cursive. Absolutely no manuscript, no um, print, only cursive, okay? So S, L, write it slow as a snail, I, D, E, slide. Okay, so that's what you're going to do for number two. Number three is even easier. It says circle the special sounds and mark the vowels. We do that forever, okay? And the first one has been done for us. Um, they circle the TR. The TR says what? Tr as in train. The CK says k as in duck. We learned that like so last year. And there's only one vowel, so they put a smiley face. So the word is track, track. Good. Looking at the next one. Okay. P I L E. Do we have any special sounds? No. So the only thing we're going to do is what? Mark the vowels. First one long, second one silent. Pile. Pile. Okay, pile. And the next one. P L U M. Any special sounds? Yeah, the P L says what? Pull as in plane. Good. So we circle. How are we going to mark that vowel? With a smiley face because there's only one. Read the blend. Plum. Hmm. Plum. Okay, I'm going to do two more and the rest of you have to do on your own. Okay? I S. Tell me about this word. There's only one vowel, so we're going to mark it with the smiley face. But what about that S? Yeah, it makes the Z sound. Okay, so read it. Is. Is. Very good. And then the last one we're going to do together. What are we going to do? Just mark the vowel. There's only one. Read the blend. Math. D mat. Boys and girls, I know that is super easy for you, but they want you to keep doing it for practice, okay? All right, so that's all you want to do for page 182. So let me review this with you, okay? You're going to complete the last row, so 181. You're going to complete the sentences on page 182 for number two, and then you're going to mark your vowels on for number three, okay? Easy. It should take you less than two minutes. All right. The next thing you're going to need is your worksheet. Aha, okay. So, Mr. L, I need for you to focus on the worksheet for me. We have never done a worksheet like this. So this is something new and it's something interesting and it really is something fun. Okay, so what we're going to do, it tells us, it says cut out the words at the bottom of the page and paste them in the correct order. Well, these are the words that they've given us, okay? And I've written the words on the board so you can see them a little better. And the words are this, will, dog, and I want you to get excuse me, attention, there's a period after the word dog, which means that's going to be at the end of the sentence. A period always comes at the end of a sentence. And that's when we learn to read. I tell you, when you see a period, to pause and breathe. Yes, so that means this is going to be the very last word in the sentence. Hit, hit. 
okay? And this is the word I. Now, the beginning of a sentence always begins with a capital letter, okay? And the word I is always capitalized anyway, but this is a little hint. The, the word I is going to come at the beginning of the sentence, and the word dog, because there's a period, is going to come at the end of the sentence, okay? So that's two clues for you, okay? This word is fine, and it is a side word. Fine, and then we have the last word, my, because you see the Y, you know the special sound. Y says I as in fly. So let's read those words again. Well, dog, I, find, my. Okay, so if you look at the picture, she has a magnifying glass and she's looking at what? She's looking at puppy prints, okay? And so she's looking for what? What's over here be hiding behind the rock or the bush? Okay, it's her puppy, it's her dog. Okay, so she's looking for her what? She's using the magnifying glass and she's looking at the puppy prints because she's looking for her dog, okay? Now, she is now us or you, I. So we're going to begin the sentence with I. Okay, we know I goes here. And dog goes here because there's a period, okay? Now, we have to plug in the words that go in between I and dog, okay? So, are we going to say, I will, I find, or I my, okay? I blank, 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 dog. I will... I find or I my. What is she doing? She's looking. So I what? I will. What will she do? She will. I will. So the word will, I will blank, blank dog. Well, what is she doing? She's looking for him, but in the meantime, she says, I will future. I will find. Very good. I will find, and then the last word, my. Okay, so let's read the sentence. I will find my dog. Does that, des does that sentence describe the picture? Of course it does, okay? And so what you're going to do, Mr. O, could you focus this? So your picture should look like Miss O'Donnell's, okay? And what I've done is you have to cut the, the words out at the bottom and you have to paste them in order, just like we wrote them here, okay? I will find my dog. And then it tells you to write your sentence in beautiful cursive. I will find my dog dog okay make sure you use capital letters on the word i make sure you put spaces in between your words and make sure you put the period at the end okay make sure you color your picture nice and neat and up here i color the word find because it's our sight word okay i will find my dog quality coloring Miss O'Donnell gives you her best. I expect you to give me your best, okay? Submit all of your phonics assignments to me and um, make sure you give me phonics, okay? I'll see you back here in a bit.